Welcome back. Uh, a couple weeks ago we got all these packages come in on the same day. Uh, they were sent out on uh, different days but they all just arrived in one clump and uh, opened them up and have uh, watched a few of them since. So here we have the Stephen King adaptation of It which was originally aired in a uh, two-part uh, mini-series but then for a home video was edited together as like one movie. Uh, the Blu-ray has it as one movie, which means it only loses the recap from the beginning of the uh, second episode. Uh, essentially uh, all the same material involved. It uh, looks pretty good. It's in its original full-frame aspect ratio and uh, it's, it's fairly quality looking uh, Blu-ray. Lone special feature is an audio commentary from uh, the cast, which uh, looks like it was recorded a couple separately and then edited together. Next we have The Invasion, which is the uh, latest in the Waddy Snatchers uh, franchise, if you will. It's the fourth film to be done in the uh, series, and probably the least of the series. It did have some production woes. The final cut was ordered to be have some reshoots and re-editing, and apparently became quite a different film than the director intended but uh, it's not too bad all things considered and we've got a good uh, presentation and some okay special features here we have body snatchers which is the third uh, film in the uh, body snatchers franchise and then also a film noir here on dangerous ground on dangerous ground is uh, excellent film noir it's kind of a film of two halves starts in the city and then it goes out to the wilderness which is not usually the uh, the locale for uh, film noirs. Uh, this one here has a really nice presentation and an audio commentary. Body Snatchers, uh, directed by Abel Ferreira, who I don't actually care for as a director, um, but I do think this is one of his probably his best uh, work. And it's it's not as good as the original, the first two Invasion of the Body Snatchers films, but it is solid here. It comes with a really good presentation. Uh, but no uh, special features. Got a bigger package here, so uh, we're going to be looking at Silver Streak, uh, the original uh, Gene Wilder, Richard Pryor team up. My Bodyguard, a, a classic uh, coming of age film, and All the President's Men, two to special edition uh, about the uh, Watergate investigation in the uh, newspapers. So we'll just open up this and. Uh, the, present, the presentation of uh, All the President's Men is a little ho-hum, but it's certainly uh, above the DVD quality, maybe a little orangish in its color uh, presentation, but uh, it has all the same special features from the DVD, which is a good set of special features, but this one also has a second disc with an excellent retrospective documentary, which can be watched on its own because it goes right into the, the Watergate uh, and the, the feeling of the times of when the, All the President's Men came out. Very interesting. And some My Bodyguard. Now this one, the first five, ten minutes, especially over the, with the credits are playing, look very hazy, but then it cleans up quite nicely. We have an audio commentary and a couple other special features. Silver Streak here uh, is bare bones and a pretty average transfer, but just wanted it because I had my other two favorite uh, Gene Wilder, Richard Pryor team-ups, Stir Crazy, and See No Evil, Hear No uh, Evil on Blu-ray, so I thought I would round out the set here. This one is Region A locked, but I didn't see it available in any other region anywhere, and it's very cheap in Region A uh, format, so it is what it is. Enjoyable film, and I love film sets on train, set on trains, and this one is mostly set on a train, so good stuff. Okay, the last one of the uh, packages here to open for the day and we have Exorcist 3, uh, which is an excellent uh, edition, which has, contains the uh, director's cut, which has been hobbled together by uh, VHS dailies, uh, cut in with the existing footage from the theatrical cut, uh, because the uh, original film elements have long been lost, despite exhaustive searches, they've never turned up. Um, it's a new uh, 2K transfer for the theatrical cut on here, and those, uh, those 2K transfer elements combined with video dailies for the director's cut on the second disc. Some excellent special features. Uh, the original Blu-ray of this, of Exorcist 3 theatrical cut was a very average transfer with no special features. This one is a good transfer with um, excellent special features, a plethora of them. Um, 
there's plenty of reviews online, so I'm not going to go into it. All I'll say is the director's cut uh, was a very interesting thing to have, and it's, it would be good to see it uh, presented properly, uh, but uh, that's never going to happen, so it's good to get an idea of what it was. I think I'll, the theatrical cut is still the way to go, and there were some good changes in there. So here they all are.